Now, Shalita wrote to me because she refuses to celebrate the holidays, any holidays. Now, several years ago, she decided that they were just excuses to spend money. She doesn't understand why her family just won't accept her choice. Dear Dr. Phil, my family is so mad at me about my views on certain holidays. I am tired of defending my stance on not celebrating Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, and Halloween to my family, especially my sister, Akia. Eight years ago, I realized the truth behind these hell days, and now my family ridicules me about my choice not to celebrate or let my six-year-old daughter celebrate either. First of all, according to my research, Christmas is a pagan holiday. Jesus wasn't even born on the 25th of December. Easter is another pagan holiday. Thanksgiving? Great. Let's celebrate the slaughter of Native Americans. Valentine's Day is a purely sexual holiday, and Halloween is worshiping the dead. Christ would really appreciate that. I have no problem with documented holidays like Hanukkah, but these other make me sick. I get sick to my stomach when I see decorations or have people wish me a happy this or a merry that. I wish more people would realize the truth. What is the truth? Well, okay, I did some research on these holidays and I found out that Christmas has nothing to do with Christ at all. It's all about the worshiping of a sun god. During the time when Constantine was converting um, pagans into Christians, you know, the pagans didn't want to let go of their celebrations. So what they did to compromise was they married the two. They took pagan festivals and Christian doctrine and put them together. That was in the 4th century. But it doesn't matter because if we lived during the 4th century and we called ourselves Christians, like the early Christians did, we would not have celebrated it. Let me, let me tell you what I think the truth is about Christmas. Do I think it's about a fat man running around the world dropping off toys? No, I, I got that busted for me last year, I think. But can't you let your children enjoy Life. the festivities the festivities of the holidays, the music, the spirit of, of kind of giving and family and, and being together. I mean, it doesn't have to be whether it's a pagan origin or a Christian origin or there's a real Santa Claus or you believe it was Christ's birthday or whatever. I mean, can you not find a way to fold this in to the current day absolutely world? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because to me, it's, it's a form of Satanism. If anybody know anything about um, pagans, they didn't believe in Christ. They didn't believe in God. So would you let your children go to a seance and, and conjure up spirits? You know, of course not. You hate Valentine's Day. Yes, that's another pagan holiday. I mean, it, it's, it's as simple as going to your Encyclopedia Britannica, looking up Valentine's Day, and it'll tell you everything. This is not my opinion. These are facts. And, and, and if Christ was around, he would, he would completely, completely disagree with all these celebrations. I don't believe in, like, over-commercializing Christmas. I, I don't believe that it has to be uh, just a religious observance. I think there are a lot of different ways that we can dis define these for ourselves. Well, what do you think? But it is a religious obser observance, and I like to say that you can't turn pus into pudding. You can't change something into a good thing because okay. it was never intended that way. Okay, L let, me, let me ask you this. If, um, if I get together with, with my family this Christmas, if my 82-year-old mother comes here and spends the holidays with us, and our children who are grown and outside the home come and spend rare time with their parents and we have a nice meal and watch football games you're saying that's a pus filled holiday yes i think that those who who understand the meaning of the true meaning of christmas and continue to do it you're going to your soul is going to be judged i i this is going out for the people who who are afraid during Judgment Day, who are afraid, who, you know, who are afraid to be sent to the hellfire. If you're just a regular, if you're an atheist, if you're just doing it for tradition, then I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to preachers, those who have a, a religious responsibility to lead the people, and I don't believe that people are, they are leading the people correctly. I just totally, blatantly disagree. Well, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that as a child that I didn't enjoy these things because I did, and I couldn't wait to get older to pass it on to my children, but... You know, I got to stand up for righteousness. You know, what's right? What's more important, the happiness of my child or making God happy? Well, you know, would I your daughter know. be wicked and ruined if she were allowed to celebrate as a child? Well, look, no, because as a child, you're not even responsible for your sins. It's once you get older and have an understanding, it's your duty to do what's right. You know, everything that's fun <clears> isn't <throat> right. Please open your Bibles to Leviticus 11 for our 10th sermon in a 14-part series on Old Testament dietary law. It's not.
safe. Don't eat it. Don't eat we it. We needed a law against eating camel. Check out that pig. You know what really sounds good? It's frying up some bacon like a heathen would. Preach! It's got the right hoof, but it doesn't chew cut. Don't eat it. This is frustrating. You get- 